Hey guys, and welcome back. So on the last episode, I got scared out of my life. So we're going to continue on. We managed to meet up with our friend. He needs some insulin. Uh, where do we need to go now? The wet room? <laughs> nope. Alright, we need to head out. We got chased through here by a monster. <laughs> Alright, let's leave this area. This game is terrifying me because I am not good with scary games. Especially ones you can't fight back. Cross the deck to the helipad. <laughs> So the helipad is across there. What's that? A seagull? Oof. I don't like the sound of that. Whatever Nor it is. Do I. Okay, we are here. to get across to the bird. My Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. So we've got to get across there to the lift, which is right there. All personnel, this is an evacuation order. I guess I wasn't clear enough the first time. That means get to the helipad now. It's your responsibility to get there and we will be leaving with or without you. <laughs> Bastard thinks he can fucking leave us. We need to turn off the power. that chased us. Christ almighty. Guys. Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, guys. It's fucking Muir. Muir. Jesus. I... Christ. I don't understand, guys. Listen. We have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, he didn't care me at all. It's and... no him anymore, Ennis. Does that mean you do believe? Save who we can. Aye, uh, uh, you're right. The only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But, hey, then he be a hero if he hears me, all right? Well, then don't let him hear you. Uh, see you at the lift. Yeah. 
fast. If he just hits you with that tentacle, you're, you're gone. Guys, oh, Christ, are you alright? Can you get out? No, knew it was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't care how I got myself in here, but the calm voice came down and we're, we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. Alright. You're a good lad, Kaz. Don't forget, air can kill. Point to remember. What's the thing? Okay. Same way we came.
Things locked. That thing needs to stay away from us. We should go back and get them. Like hell we should. You saw them. They're gone. Get a move on. Archie! Renick! We have to give them more time. You told them to come! What I told them is that we are leaving! And we are leaving! Now! No, don't leave. Don't leave. better than to let you two out the gather. The two greatest minds of your generation united over a bucky. Nobel Prize Committee will be warming up their checkbooks already. You seriously, seriously think if you leave the country, this will all just blow over? No one's going to chase me out into the middle of the North Sea. My mum always said I'd married beneath me, Kaz, but I thought you were smarter than this. I'm fucking doing my best. No, no, you're not doing your best. What do you know about oil rings, you roaster? I'm good with the lecky. Terrace houses, cars, flats, maybe a shop, if you're feeling adventurous. Roy's put in a word. He said I'm up to the job. Oh, for, for God's sake. Roy's a cook. He's a chef. He's a cook. It's just for a few weeks. We'll just let it cool down a bit. Then I'll call Billy Chamberlain and have a word. Talk him into dropping the charges. If you run the police, I'll give you the jail for sure. <sighs> when are you leaving? Tomorrow morning. You are shitting me, McCleary. It's the girls' school concert. I'm fucking scum, Suze. What do you want from me? I'm just saying this, Kaz. If you leave us, if you run, if you go, then we are done. Hear me. Oh, don't say that. I'm... I'm here. Suze. Fucking hell. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> no fucking Everything way. breaks. Watch the helicopter crash. region. Hello? Kaz, it's Brody. Jesus, the fucking chopper, man. Aye, I saw it. Did you get to the light boats? Aye, they're busted, you fucking kid, Dal. Mechanisms are completely fucked, cheap bastards. Then it's McQuarrie. Just listen, here's what I need you to do. I need you to get to the radio room and call the support ship. It's fucked, man. The fucking crane fell on it. Hello? Hello? Shit. Hey. It's Brody. Hey, I know who it is, you daft prick. Listen, that's the generator's failing. If they cut out, we'll be on emergency batteries, so the radios won't work. You're not listening. The radio room is gone. Christ, man, there's other radios, but only one set of Jennies. 
If they fail, you're gonna need to head down there and manually restart them. I'm not going down there again, fucking gibble. Cad, if the lecky cuts out, you won't have a choice. You go and do it. Not Cad, I'm busy. You need to get to the Jennies and stop them from short and gossip. Aye, aye. Jennies, right. Brody. Ah, shit! Okay, we've got to go and fix the generators. Administration. Leave to administration. No details there. Ah, no way through. And then here. There are warnings of severe gales in Terrile, <coughs> Bailey, Bay, Viking, Forties. There are warnings. Ah. Of... Hello? This is the gonna open. What the what is that? There's just a body here. Right? Jesus fucking Christ!
Oh, I did not like that. Oh, come on, you're joking me. Get out fucking go. It's Kaz, where are you? Lost the corner. Do you have any place? Bruce, tell me where you are. Bruce, can you hear me? Jesus Christ. Shite. Let's go down. Well, surely we can pick it on this one. Oh no. Uh. Show off that gas valve first.
Did I die? Surely not. Oh, I didn't get to the gas in time. Okay. area exit to engineering all right guys we're gonna end this episode here so if you liked it like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one